Alright guys, got a service car here. No cool second floor. Check out the last 10 system faults. We got thermal cutout and low stage and sand profile field. Alright, looks like we got a TXV issue here. Normally what I uh what I try to do, maybe some other guys will have will say otherwise, or maybe you guys can give me some more or better advice. But sometimes what I do is I'll add a uh less than a pound of gas and I'll see how that TXV reacts. Um right now, uh it just ain't taking no gas at all. John trying to tell me that the TXV is is close, but I do got a second option too that I normally do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe guys got a different opinion let me know in the comments below but um i also will put it in heating mode by removing the reversing valve plug so we'll do that right now there you go suction line on the common port pressures are changing i'm also doing this we're bypassing the txv valve we're going straight to heating. Right now, our temperatures are about 80, 79, 80 degrees. Inside's about 75. Um, just bypassing the TXV because they have a check valve, and we're checking the refrigerator and the heating. Even though I know that the temperatures are a little high, we're just getting an idea what the temperature, what the uh, pressure readings are. All right, so we have connected there, such port, reversing valve, solenoid uh, signal off, and gauges on our section lines one reading 142 this is just a second option maybe you guys have a different opinion please let me know give me a comment line below and uh let me know what you guys think about this troubleshooting method if you guys think it's ridiculous you guys got a better option please let me know man we are here to learn we're all here to trade we're all here to help each other harness for the reversing valve pressure's dropped and uh looks like the ETH is Close, man. All right, so, all right, guys, let me know what you guys think about this video. Give me a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.